to do. It's really hard to start to start up again. It's like really hard to like start. Why not? So blogging. that's what I'm saying. Why don't I just hold it for you? you, you no, because I feel you. less silly holding it and talking to it. It's actually pretty well framed. You're oh. a little like tilted, just a little. There, there you go. Now you're good. Now you're in the upper two squares in the middle. Wow. It's, so I'm like properly proper. It's nicely framed now, yeah. Yes. Anyway. Hello everyone! <laughs> <laughs> That's my roommate running away. Um, so I haven't vlogged in like ages. And I missed it. And I've been watching vlogs again and catching up on what everybody's doing and that's very cool. Also, I really desperately want to go to VidCon, and I'm like, but Tanya, you don't even vlog anymore. But I do cool things, and so I'm like, hey, it's Monday, which means tomorrow's Tuesday, and this will post on Tuesday, and that's Talk To Me Tuesday, and I'm doing crafty things tonight, so I should vlog. So the first crafty thing that I'm going to start in on is I'm making spaghetti squash, because Charles Trippy over on CTFXC I uh, made a spaghetti squash pizza crust, which seemed super yum to me, so I'm making that. And then I've got white rice flour and some gel colors and a whole bunch of stuff because I'm going to make squishy circuits. Basically, I'm going to make Play-Doh um, and then make them have LEDs light up in them and stuff. Uh, because I'm going to be teaching an intro to electronics course at some point. In theory, on March 20th at the Port City Makerspace, uh, but since the class hasn't actually been posted yet and it's March 10th, who knows whether uh, anyone will sign up that early, so it might not be until next month. The other exciting thing that's going on this week is this weekend is Fiber Camp, and that's always fun and exciting down in Boston and I'm going to be teaching uh, how to crochet granny squares so I've got to prep for that class too um, so yeah I have a lot of exciting things going on and stuff and I miss you all and yeah so walkiness so I should put the spaghetti squash in the oven so it might actually start cooking and I might get to eat dinner sometime tonight and then we'll start in on the uh, Play-Doh. All right, while we wait for uh, the computer to boot up so I can have the actual instructions for what I'm doing, um, we'll have a cute kitty interlude. Here's one cute kitty. And we'll come over here, come over here. And here's another cute kitty. She's a little sick kitty. She's got a bit of a sinus cold. Her life is hard. Okay, so uh, we're using the Squishy Circus uh, thingy from the people who made squ Squishy Circuits, St. Thomas.edu. Uh, I just googled Squishy Circuits and it's like one of the first results. And I'm making it gluten free because. I'm gluten-free and I want to be able to touch it and in case anybody in my class is gluten-free we don't have to worry about it so I'm using white rice flour so they call for a cup and a half of flour so I'm using a cup of white rice flour and a half a cup of cornstarch instead because that's what the celiac easy play-doh recipe thing suggested um, and otherwise I got a big old mess of stuff in this bowl um, and stirring and holding the camera is not as easy as one might think um, and so we cook this over medium heat as you can see I used blue food coloring and my store didn't have like normal food coloring so I bought the gel, glitter gel food coloring because uh, it's what they had and it was glittery and glittery is good. And we'll stick this here and we'll see. Yeah, that's going to work well. And so we're going to mix this. <laughs> Hopefully we're pointing at something resembling my face. Um, now we're going to mix this over medium high heat. So it's a, it's a cup and a half of flour. Only, though I was only supposed to put a cup into the pot, but you know, 
directions. Bah. Um, and I used a cup of ra rice flour, white rice flour, and a half a cup of cornstarch. And then a cup of water, a quarter cup of salt, a three tablespoons of cream of tartar, a tablespoon of veggie oil, and food coloring. Which obviously this was not enough food coloring. I thought I put a ridiculous amount in, but apparently it was not nearly ridiculous enough. Maybe I should add the green too. Or maybe I should go find my Wilton's cake dies. I think the world will, the world will end if I uh, pause this. Let's pause. Let's go see if we can find the Wilton's cake dies. Wilton's cake dies! Let's go in a dark room! With the camera! I don't know why I'm still recording! Alright, so we added some Wilton cake dye to it, so now we definitely have blue. We do not have a ball yet, but now we at least have blue. And so blue is good. Alright, so that totally got chunky eventually and turned into a ball in the middle. I just kept stirring. Um, so all is good. Um, I've put it on a not so lightly flowered surface and uh, flattened it out a bit to let it cool a little bit so I don't burn my fingers off. And the poor little Tasha cat, she's a sneezing. So it works. Shut off that piece. Don't wait, please. Look, it's lit. Turn the light on, please. See, so the battery is hooked up into the conductive Play-Doh, and then the little LED is lit. And the reason, as someone just asked, why I couldn't just hook the LED up to the battery, if I hook the LED directly to the battery, uh, it would be too much uh, power, which is probably the wrong term, um, and it would make the battery, the LED go boop. And be oh, not good anymore. So the Play-Doh is a resistor? So the Play-Doh is adding resistance, yes. And so what's cool, so if we push the Play-Doh together, it'll turn off the LED because the um, energy wants to travel the, uh, shortest, the distance. shortest distance, exactly. And the flow goes through the Play-Doh better than it goes through the LED. So there we go. It worked fabulously. I think we got pizza success right here. Yeah. Yeah. Got to try, try, try a slice of it. Got to make a slice. See how it tastes. See how it tastes. With a pizza slicer. That would be smart. Oh, you're just gonna use your craftastic knife. I think it's my craftastic knife. Stop judging me and my knife. Bad knife. All right, I gotta try this. Mmm. That is very tasty and very cheesy. Very cheesy. Very cheesy. Mm. That's good pizza. All right. So overall, experiments this evening were successful. Um, the insulated, not the insulating, the conductive dough worked awesomely. I'm really happy with it. Um, we'll see how long it keeps and how well it keeps. But it was super easy to make, so I can make it up again fast. I think that I will use lemon juice instead of cream of tartare in the future and we'll see how that goes because lemon juice is considerably cheaper than cream of tartare and the, you use a lot of it. Um, the insulating dough kind of sucked. Uh, it was very very greasy actually so I think that they wanted you to put one tablespoon of oil in instead of three tablespoons. I'm really glad that I only put like slightly more than two tablespoons in. Um, and what I ended up doing was I squeezed the balls in uh, paper towels to get a lot of the grease out and that seemed to help but they're still kind of greasy so uh, I don't know what we're going to do with that or if we do anything with that. Um, the spaghetti squash pizza crust though was awesome. It was a little soft, um, but I didn't squeeze any of the moisture out at all. Um, and I probably should have patted that down with paper towels too. Like, maybe just scooped out the spaghetti squash onto paper towels and patted it dry. Uh, and that might have helped. Um, but it was really, really good. We were thinking that it might be really tasty with like a pesto or something like that. So, uh, yeah. Um, but, uh, and it made a ton of people, like I was really full. Um, and I still have like two more meals left 
out of that and that was with the little bit that the boy tried and the, the little bit that Callie tried and whatnot and then just like trying bits and you know cutting off bits and whatnot um but yeah overall tasty so right uh so this is me getting back to video videoing vlogging there we go <laughs> um and i'll be interested to see what all this video looks like when i go to edit i apologize now if i'm shaky and just generally out of practice because i'm shaky and just generally out of practice uh meanwhile hope everyone has a good one and i'll talk to you tomorrow